celebrity breakups, and what we can learn from them. Next. And welcome back to the Stan Simpson Show, a program about Connecticut people and compelling issues. Make it a point to drop in every week. High-profile relationship drama plays out regularly on the tabloids. Demi and Ashton, Will and Jada, Arnold and Maria. But what can everyday folks learn from the failed relationships of celebrities? Pastor T.C. Brantley, our relationship guru, is in studio to discuss the fatal flaws in these celebrity relationships and how you can improve yours in 2012. Then we'll wrap things up with our personal empowerment coach, Karen Hines. She'll give her tips about what to consider if you're making a career change in 2012. I know you are. But first, Timothy, Charles, Brantley. How you doing, sir? <laughs> It's Saturday morning now. People are online yes, Thursday, sir. Saturday, people seeing this. Mm -hmm. You want to have a little prayer first before we start this off? Do we need some prayer? Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go, man. This, this is a good now for you guys. You yes. guys in the relationship business. Yes. Tough season. Do you find more people come to you with their drama now or do they hold off for the new year? What they do you are think? coming more because their finances are an issue right now. Looking at what's happening in the celebrity world. And people are just in a lot of uncertainty right now. So we want to make sure they soar up their relationship right now. A lot of folks will hold off. The holidays are here. Their kids are involved. They're married. They say, you know what? It's not working out. Let me hold and off for the kids. And those that hold off will be divorced uh, might by 2012. Because, again, we got to make sure relationship is most important. Thing. It's not the kids, Stan. It is what we have together as a husband and the wife together. But the kids provide a, a big factor there, right? The kids provide a big factor, but again, they're not the foundation. The foundation is the husband and wife. And again, it goes back to they invested in the beginning before the child came. And what happened when the child comes, they stop that investment. You can't stop that, sir, at all. So would you recommend, if you're looking to break up, would you recommend holding off for the new year or going ahead and getting the ball rolling now or getting I counseling? I recommend finding a good counselor. How oh, you doing? I knew you say that first. Yeah, now, what would you say for a couple right now saying, you know what, the holidays are here? Right. And we're having problems. We want to make sure the kids are happy, but we're not happy. Okay. How do you handle that? Okay. The holidays show you that if, if that if I'm positive, yeah. we can make this thing work. And right now, parents are being positive for the kids. Well, you know, for Johnny and for Sue, we'll be positive for them. So if they can take that positiveness and take it into January through December next year, they can make it. It's as, as, as you think. As a man thinketh. So is he. Now let's talk about some of these celebrity yes, breakups, sir. right? Break people are enamored of celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. People think they have not made, they have the they money, don't. the fame, they kids. Don't. How are they breaking up? So let's start with what is it about celebrity relationships that are no different than your average There is no different. Profile. It's still flesh and blood. It's still women needs communication, man needs sex. It's the same thing. It's just that it's on a broader scale. And there's more options for that man, for that woman, to step out and do the things that he shouldn't be doing. All right, Kobe Bryant. Let's start with Kobe Bryant, yes, the sir. latest one, right? Mm -hmm. Multi-million dollar player, mm -hmm. married for several years, yep. married his what, high school sweetheart. That's right. Went through a, a mm -hmm. horrifying situation in Colorado. He's accused of raping a woman. She sticks by him. That's Correct. He buys her a four million dollar ring or something like that. Make make up. <laughs> make you know what? It, that, it, it did for a little while. <laughs> but, but, four see, million dollar ring. It, sh it shows. Don't get the four million dollar ring. But it shows that it's not the money. It's the time. It's a relationship that Vanessa wanted from Kobe. Kobe just put money on it. No, he needed he needed to put love, forgiveness, and most of all, dedication and faithfulness to that woman. Was that a red flag? So you, as a relationship guy, when you saw that he spent four million dollars on a ring in order to make up, right. was that a red flag for you? That was a big red flag. And Vanessa said, "You know what? Instead of giving me the ring, let's go to a marriage counselor." I know one in Connecticut, Pastor T.C. <laughs> with, with the website? No, don't do that. We're not going to pimp you like that right now. Yeah, but so. So what, they, so what happens here now? They stay for another nine years after that situation right, in Colorado. Right, but Have them kids and not break it up. But see, it never healed. And a lot of relationships don't understand that if you don't heal from a bad breakup or, or infidelity, right. it's going to go in bad terms. So you got to heal first to really move on. Not buy a ring, not your kids, but heal. Let's be honest here. If you're the wife of a celebrity yes. who was accused of rape in Colorado, uh -huh. who survives that, right. he's traveling around the world yep. with his contract, 
How can you ever trust the guy? Listen, again? come you, on now. You have it. to trust by doing counseling, but I would tell everyone, listen, make sure you have Skype, <laughs> make sure you send him a panty lunch, all those type of things a, to a keep what? him a, a panty lunch. <laughs> can I explain that to you? You might have wanted to know what it is. You got to keep, you gotta keep that connection. And a lot of women say, well, you know what? He'll be connected because I have his kids. No, a man needs sex. And if you're not supplying that and feeding that to him, he might go out and find something somewhere else, sir. But isn't that superficial? A man needs sex. No, That's it what it's is all about. Not what, superficial. About, what about the emotional women, stuff you preach about? Uh, There's all stop that stuff. Now you're saying it's about sex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Women, uh, hear me, Sam. Women need communication. They need relationships. Men, we need sex. So I teach my couples in my private practice is to exchange. Give her communication. Give her that loyalty. And in return, uh, she will give that man good sex. Now, some are saying out there, boy, that's awful shallow. Is it just an exchange game? It's not game? shallow. It is, it is a need Why that you, a couple can has. Can you flip the script? Can the guy give uh, this? And go, woman, sometimes women need sex, too, way. right? <laughs> oh, yes, they do. But again, I'm, I'm talking about the general populace. But again, you have to understand, boy, you're sweating real bad now. You've got to understand here that there is a, a, a foundational need that if a couple's not meeting it, they'll find someone else. Affairs, don't, watch this. Affairs don't happen if the needs are being met. Mark my word on that. If a need's being met, they're not going outside. It means they're not being met. If they're not strong, not dedicated, then they'll find somebody else. Okay. All right. Next celebrity couple. Let's talk about, let's pick one. How about Arnold? Oh. Arnold and Maria. Arnold Ball. Right? Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. Long term situation, long -term, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. High profile guy, mm -hmm. former governor, mm -hmm. had some allegations mm -hmm. when he ran for governor. Yeah. Some degree, people are saying, hey, this was out there before. You said it right there. There were allegations that were not taken care of. And Marisa, listen, you know, Arnold, I know you were a player back in the day, mm. but I need to have a big party. And let's have a player uh, retirement party. I don't think she had a player retirement party what, on him. What, what is that? A player retirement party? The player party? retirement party is very simple. That your Facebook is now known to your wife. Uh, no more email passwords oh, known goodness. to your wife. You know, all the women gone out of your life, and you're having a player retirement party. I'm no longer in the field. I'm with you in your bed in my life forevermore. For women out there who suspect their guy is a player or yes. know he's a player, yes, they had their party, but many women know their guy mm -hmm. is a player and mm -hmm. they're figuring when they get married, he'll change. Your advice no. is what? No, no, no. The, the, the key is, let's put this stuff on the table. If we said for better, for worse, that means you are dedicated to me, I am dedicated to you, and there is no holding back. And, hear me, if he is, well, I don't want to give up my girl because... Uh, we've been childhood friends for years. No, if you would be married to me, if I'm giving you everything that I belong in the bedroom, you must give up everything for me because what I have is worth all of that. All Holla right. at me. All right, let's go <laughs> on to other celebrities in about a minute or so. Yes, How sir. about uh, the Kardashians? Oh, man, I don't want to even I go call, there. I shouldn't call them the Kardashians. I guess it's Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphrey. I shouldn't call them the Kardashians. It was all a farce. It wasn't real. It was all there for TV, for What can movie. we learn from it, though? What do you learn from that? If it wasn't farce, what can there we learn? There was no marriage counseling, I guarantee you. Uh, uh, there was was nothing in that, and also you gotta understand is that they didn't understand what it is to be in a marriage. Marriage is commitment, sir. Marriage is, you know what, for better for it. I have to give you my best, even when you don't look your best at that particular time, and and that was not done. Uh, Kim was more, uh, <laughs> she was more in love with the camera. More than Brother Chris. But would counseling have revealed that? How does counseling reveal that? Yes. Uh, I mean, I don't personally, I don't marry anybody unless I have at least three marriage counseling sessions with them. Three minimum. Because I'm going to find the dirt. I'm going to find the baggage before in they get married. Question, in 30 questions, yes. 30 seconds yes, of a break, sir. what's the first question you ask? When you bring that couple in before marriage, what's mm -hmm. the first question you ask? Are you ready break? to work? Are you ready to get into this thing? Right. All right. Okay. Keep, we've got two more questions coming oh, at us. All right. right. Come on. Got me, got me sweating already. <laughs> when we come back, you we return. <laughs> Relationship expert T.C. Brantley will talk more about what we can learn from high-profile breakups and how to improve your relationship in 212. Don't even think about going away.